Good morning. Welcome to day 19 of our 28 days of Airstream renovation. Today is a big day. We have a special guest coming to help us with our floors. And I am going to try to finish a bunch of other things. It's going to be a busy day, but should be beautiful out. We're going to get a lot done. And being that it's day 19, that's good. We've made a lot of progress with the paint, but we need to make some progress on this floor because as you can see in the bedroom, we don't have one. Can't sleep in a bedroom with no floor. So that's the plan for today. It is bright and early, 6.57 a.m. I am going to do some prep work before our floor guy gets here. But before I do that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified anytime we release a new video. And let's get some prep work before our guy comes. All right, I wet dry backed everything out. Now I'm gonna wipe all the belly pans down. Not perfectly, just enough to get some of the gunk out of there. And then I'm moving on to other things. Now that the belly pan is sufficiently cleaned, we're going to start spray painting the structural beams to protect them from rust. So we're gonna use this rust reformer first, and then if we have time, we're gonna come over it with some black gloss. Gorin grinded down the beams yesterday just to get some more of the rust off. Structurally, they're fine. We just wanna keep them that way. And yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. So my other tools are going to be a mask and the sweet mod pizza cardboard piece so I can try to keep things neat, tidy, clean. Let's see what happens. Subfloor repair happening this weekend. We got this frame all refurbed essentially. We uh, ground down as uh, little as we had to. We had to get some rust off, knock that off. Got this painted with Rust-Oleum. We're going to be putting in some new insulation. We've got this channel just about all cleared out all the way around here. Uh, we're going to be cutting some new subfloor plywood, getting that installed with a little help from our friend Alex, and uh, hopefully get the subfloors fixed up and then start moving on to our uh, vinyl plank flooring that we're going to be installing. Got a, quite a few trouble spots in this subfloor though, like this corner here got completely rotted out. Some issues around these battery boxes, which we'll be working on getting removed as uh, Alex gets this subfloor fixed up. So we'll let him uh, get in here and get to work. All right, Gorn, what are we doing out here today? All right, so we are going to be removing the batteries from these battery boxes because uh, we're going to be moving all that inside. So these battery boxes are kind of old fashioned. They got old lead acid batteries in them. I'm just gonna take those out, temporarily move them in so we can remove these boxes and work on the subfloor around it. So, first you kinda gotta lift it onto the edge. This one's. That one looks better. A little newer, but see, it's also wet. Yeah. It looks like it's coming from is the there. Better, a little so this is partially. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going on back here. All right, give us the lowdown. All right, batteries came out like a charm, no problem. But now we're going to try to remove these battery boxes, and that's going to be a tad Just tricky. the plastic part, right? Just the plastic part. We're going to keep these doors in place. For now. For now, until we figure out a long-term solution for that. But we're going to get these boxes out of here so we can get to the subfloor underneath it. All right. Hello. 
So these battery doors are a problem that we have not been able to find a solution to on the YouTubes. It looks like aftermarket, somebody cut these holes bigger. Um, the actual battery doors are screwed onto the outside, not riveted. We don't know if that's original, very well could be. We're gonna do some more research, but it's a problem. Uh, as it stands right now, we have two gaping holes in the front of our Airstream because there was really no way to seal up those battery doors. There's just, I don't have one with me. There's just so many points of entry and just sealing it would just, it, it would be a pipe dream. So what we need to do long-term is have a couple of pieces of aluminum, have them look nice and then rivet them on the outside and then seal it all in on the inside. The vision for this area in the future will be, all of this will be closed. And then this whole area right here is going to be where we do our electrical. We plan on installing a bunch of Battleborn batteries. As it stands right now, we just have two, but I think down the line, Gorn was saying something like he wanted like six or eight of them just so that we can do some serious boondocking. Um, but for right now, we just have these two holes. So it's kind of frustrating. We are, you know, getting this new subfloor and all this stuff and it's, we gotta make sure that this is watertight. So we're gonna have to come up with some kind of temporary solution um, until we can get to a spot where we can get a more permanent 